Hey guys, I am back with another of the Coraline series. This time we are doing Coraline herself. So if you're interested in seeing this look and how the sweater was made, it is actually super, super simple. So if you're interested, go ahead and just keep on watching. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification button so you know when the next is loaded. I would love for you to stick around. <laughs> Now starting off looking a little bit crazy with our brows completely glued down, tutorial will be down below. We're going to go ahead and sculpt the face to start making it a lot wider looking, but we want to go back in and add more of that definition. The clay animation characters in the movie have a lot of detail from the high contrast lighting, so we're going to keep adding that kind of sculpting effect and deepening it as we go. Now this we're just taking one of those old school makeup sponges to help with straight lines and using it to actually slide that same sculpting powder color down the nose. Coraline has a very thin and very angular nose so here we're just lining the sides and also the bottom and then using the clean end of the sponge to just kind of blend it all in. Now I'm going to go back in and add a little bit of a triangle shape towards the top to give that really defined little point that she has. Here we're just going to go ahead and extend that same line up into our brow areas and add a little bit of pink on the cheeks to give some more human element back into this. Going back in with an ultra fine brush and some cool brown toned eyeshadow, I'm actually getting it wet and creating little dots and then I'm going back in with this dry brush to go ahead and soften out those spots once they're dry. Now all of the characters in the movie have replaceable eyes for ease of expression. So what we're going to do to kind of emulate that effect and make more of a round eye, we're going to add some of that cool toned shadow to just kind of deepen the crease and spread outward of the eyelid. Here I'm going to be using more of a neutral blue shade for the eyebrows. You want to go ahead and keep them kind of nice and pointed at the start and the end. And in the front of the brows, you're going to want them to flick upwards. This is going to give you more of a nervous expression because Coraline herself has kind of a worried look throughout the movie. And when she doesn't, she has a very sarcastic look. And so this is actually going to help create that effect as you're kind of walking around with this makeup on your face. Because let's be honest, Coraline is sassy for days. you're happy with those brows we're gonna go ahead and move on to coating thickly those eyelashes that you have now you can choose to keep it at this face to keep kind of more of a childlike look but let's be honest this is a costuming page and more of a cosplay page so we're gonna go ahead and up it for this video and add some false lashes on top of these for that extra bold look For the lips, we're going to keep it more of a neutral, kind of more of a softer pink. She doesn't really have makeup on in the movie. So the effect that we're really going to go for is just kind of a very soft effect. And really, fullness is not your goal unless it's just your personal preference. So we're just going to lightly line it in a rose color. And I'm going to use a brown pencil here to extend the outer points on the lips because Coraline has more of a wide lip than a thick lip. And then we're just going to coat it with a nice glossy light pink and just kind of keep it there. Now using some glittery stickers that I found at a local party store and I'm going to stick with this Mayron body paint. Now this is super inexpensive and really easy to find and so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use those. Taking a makeup sponge, which clearly I don't know how to hold things for the camera, I've cut it in kind of a diamondy shape but just kind of rounded and we're going to use some of that blue body paint to just paint all over the body. Now this does not have to be perfect because in the movie you'll see that her sweater has a lot of little spots and texture in it. So just make sure that you're covering the area and don't worry about it being too completely solid. And I have added a little bit of the black into that paint as well because in the movie hers is more of a muted blue. It's not super, super bright. Now working with a smaller brush, I've added some silver metallic paint into that same blue color. That way it adds more of a highlight than an actual color. And I'm creating vertical lines for the neck piece and I'm actually rounding off the top of each one to get more of that illusion of kind of a puffy sweater. Now finishing it off with a dark line of division around the bottom portion, we're going to go ahead and call this collar portion done. Taking that little diamondy foam piece, I've actually just glued it with some eyelash glue onto the back of a pencil and I'm using it to dab into that same metallic-y paint and then I'm just creating little stamps 
for the sweater lines. Now to do this, you're just gonna hold them at one angle, like you can see, one above the other, and then you're gonna rotate it the opposite direction to do a line next to it. Just kind of fill up that space. It's not gonna be perfect, because human bodies are 3D, but it'll really help to give that illusion. Now, once it's all dry, I'm just adding those extremely glittery stars and calling it done. Finishing it off with a blunt cut wig that's been steamed extremely straight and Coraline is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am always extremely grateful when you do.